Hi everyone, it's Monday. Two big news today. One about uh, Google, again, they're always in the news, and the right to be forgotten uh, law from the European Union. And another one about a cyber ambassador being, being uh, named. Uh, this is her actually. Her name is Heli Tiermarklar. She's Estonia's first uh, cyber ambassador. Uh, her goal is to aim improve global cyber defense, of course. She's not the first of her kind. I mean, already Australia, the UK, France, Germany, they have also named top diplomats in charge of cyber policy. And that really shows to see how big of an issue it is nowadays. On the other end, though, the US Department of Justice kind of downsized its cyber office um, last year uh, when its Deputy Assistant Secretary Rob Strayer, who was uh, taking over Chris Penter, uh, you know, who was in charge in 2011. Now, the US Department of Justice claims that it's not really that they're downsizing, it's more that they're reorganizing their office. Anyhow, you know, uh, in general, we can see that there is a big movement uh, across the globe from countries to really focus on cybersecurity. And the, one of the good ways to do that, to resolve those issues, is to have a discussion between states at the highest level through diplomacy. So before we get to a full-fledged cyber wars where companies keep attacking to each other, which believe me, they're already doing, right? But we want to try to find some kind of, you know, calming down and making sure that countries behave. So there's a lot to be done. Actually, I'll read you a quote from her. She says, compared to many other security fields, in cyber we have reached maybe 10% of total readiness to understand the threat, to respond to threats, and also to prevent the threat or maybe to deter them. So can you imagine 10% of, of, of readiness? So there's a lot of work to do. And you know, I think having those high-level discussions at the top diplomat levels will definitely help. Uh, in fact, some of the things I have to work on is to coordinate responses that uh, states that have more experience help younger countries to protect themselves. And one thing we really need is some global norms, uh, whether through the United Nations or among the nation states. And actually one thing that she talked about is precisely this, the, uh, uh, the need for international law and cyber norms. And that actually brings me to our second topic today, which is Google. Why? Because Google actually, uh, there is a case where we're wondering actually if Europe can export the right to be forgotten law globally. And I'll spend this. Uh, you know, there was a ruling that forced Google to remove certain results from searches uh, based on the right to be forgotten that uh, individuals and company might have. Uh, now, Google had only done that for the search results of its uh, EU-based search engines. But of course, nowadays with a VPN, it's very easy to fake a location and you could be accessing from the US and you know, pretending to be in Europe and showing a result in the search that shouldn't be there. So uh, the EU is, is asking Google to uh, apply this rule globally. And of course, Google is uh, reticent to that because they claim that it will encourage other countries to assert sovereignty beyond their borders. So this is a, a very touchy issue, but I think it still goes to show that there is kind of a big mismatch between the laws uh, as they are up till now and this borderless internet, the new, those new companies that operate immediately from day one globally. And I think states still have a hard time comprehending this. So uh, we will have to strike a balance, I think, in the future between uh, a regulation that protects companies and citizens based on where they are and also helping companies thrive globally in a free market economy. So keep an eye for that. Uh, in the meantime, tomorrow is a holiday here, so we won't be broadcasting, but you can check our diary from the entrepreneur right here and you can subscribe right here. Okay, remember, be safe online and offline. See you on Wednesday.